And we're at Boardwalk Hall for the MAC Championships and had a chance to hear the organ, the largest in the world, boom out the national anthem before the game. We have uh, one of the administrators from the foundation that manages this. Scott, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, first, introduce yourself if you would. My name is Scott Banks. I'm the membership and events coordinator for Historic Organ Restoration Committee. We're the nonprofit task with bringing the world's largest musical instrument back to life. And that's the Midmerlage Pipe Organ, the control pipe of which is behind us. This instrument has 33,112 pipes hidden around the arena of Jim Will and Boardwalk Hall. And the reason it exists was that was the only way to bring sound to an arena of this size when we were built between 1926 and 1929. Can I ask you when it was built? So it was installed when the building was originally constructed. The building was actually complete first with locations for the pipes placed throughout it. So the organ was built between August of 1929 and December of 1932. And when they completed it, it was the world's largest instrument with over 150 tons of sound-producing equipment hidden behind the walls of the world. What is special about this organ in, in, in terms of the sound that it produces? Right now, uh, in living memory, there are very few people who ever remember it playing at full percentage. It was damaged by a hurricane in 1944 and slowly fell into disuse and silence. We began bringing this back online in 2014 and... Coming in, and when I did as a volunteer at that point, we only had 10% of it working. We're now up to 60% of it working. We do have one of only two 64-foot-long pipes in the world, and we also have the world's loudest set of organ pipes, the Grand Alpha Clyde. Each pipe produces 138-plus decibels. Well, what, what makes... Uh a tradition, traditional organ like this. I saw one at Radio City Music Hall recently. What makes this type of instrument so special? I think really the best part of it is that every piece of it is handcrafted. It's all artisanal work. Uh, there's no speakers to this, so it's not something that's really electrically amplified in any way, shape, or form. It's signals going throughout the building to make these pipes play. And nothing quite excites the air in the building like that. When Boardwalk Hall was constructed, the original arena had five, five and a half million cubic feet of air in it. So to get all that air moving, and with a seating capacity of 41,000, you need an instrument that can quite literally rattle the rafters in here. Wow. Uh, has there been any particular occasion when the organ is played that really stands out? Obviously, the Miss America contest here. Miss and any other occasions to stand out? Miss American pageant was a, a real favorite of us. We actually welcomed back eight former Miss Americas for the true centenary of Miss America. And we had them cross the stage, including B.B. Shop, Miss America, 1948. And it just transported her back over 60 years to that night when she was crowned. It was quite a momentous occasion. Well, Scott, we sure enjoyed hearing the national anthem performed by this historic organ here at Boardwalk Hall, and thank you for taking a moment to tell us a little bit about it. Anytime, thank you. Our pleasure. It's Ken Crate, sir, at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City.